Hey diecast racing fans, so I just received this shipment in today. It's the new uh, NASCAR Crash Circuit Short Track Speedway. It's the one with the uh, three wide curve with the uh, two wide exit and entry. So I imagine there will be more passing, but the runs will also be cleaner since uh, the exits are going to be on the two wides and usually the three wides have trouble because the cars have a lot more room to spin out so with these two wides the walls will correct them before they really spin out now uh, so these are well this is a 90 I had one 180 installed on my track so far I don't think I'm going to keep it on there because uh, the thing about these curves is they are really high banked. So just to get an idea, I mean this thing almost goes completely vertical right here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use these on my track because my track's a little slow and uh, these entries right here there's I believe slightly more bank than the regular crash which is right here Let me take this guy off so just comparing the two there's a lot more curvature on this uh, new track this is a lot flatter which I prefer and uh, so when I put this new curve on my track the straight that's connecting to it is it's got a much higher bank now so with my track being a slow track my cars are now falling to the low to the inside and they're all just riding the inside here I haven't seen anybody actually go high yet and I definitely cannot make it to the top wall or the top lane because my track is way too slow for that um, so if your track is already high speed, then these would be a good direct replacement for your crash curves. Otherwise, if your track is a slow speed track, you're going to have to make it faster in, in order to actually use this to its full capabilities. I don't know. So these are the individual pieces to make it nine, or 180. As you can see, these are very, very steep. And then uh, another, another thing about the straights now, they're actually, they're shorter for one, but the texture is a lot different. So on the crash straights, they're smooth, very smooth. And there's no texture on them, just the ridges, uh, just the lines, yeah, the ridges. But on these new straights, you can see the texture on them where it's not smooth really. It's got a little, a little bit of a roughness to it. And the walls are actually bending out a little more as well. So I might need to use this one up there to make it run better, but I don't think there's any getting around the fact that I would need to increase the track speed in order to use these turns. I'm considering swapping out that last crash curve and using one of these there, but instead of having it there, I'm going to put that curve basically on the floor. So this straight, they'll pick up a lot of speed on and then actually use that curve with the three lane. But then again, might as well change that with the sizzler curve. Who knows, we'll see. We've got a lot of testing to do and I will let you guys know how things go.